Right, let's uh, let's have a look at the um, using the map editor now, and uh, this is where we uh, add uh, and modify addresses. Clicking the, the the editor brings up the uh, the normal screen here, uh, and you can see that we have uh, several uh, features on here. Uh, the most common one to use is the check new. This is um, um, that clicking this button will bring up any addresses that have been added that are not on the database. So let's let's have a look at this. Uh, it says please wait, and then. Uh, here we go. Uh, if you remember from the tutorials, we added an address uh, of Don's Fish and Chip Bar. And of course, this has come across now and saying, do we want to add it? Now, down here we've got uh, a list of similar uh, sounding addresses, or anything beginning with uh, a similar name. And we just a quick scan down there just to make sure you're not uh, making a duplication. If it is a duplication, we can just simply uh, just click the discard button and it will move on to the next one. You can see up here that it's saying there are three addresses that we um, that uh, have been entered that weren't on the database. Now, let's say that we want to add Don's Fish and Chip Bar. We just simply click Add. And then two main things that we need to do. We need to tell it where it is and what it is. Now. Under normal circumstances, the, the map will be centred up on where the car actually picked up at. Now, uh, because we're, we, we've not done this as a live thing, um, uh, it's just taken us to the middle of St. Helens. Um, so, what I'm going to do is move it to Don's Fish and Chip Bar, which is actually, uh, I can see it's that building there. So, if I just click on there, I've told the map where it is. And we just now now need to move and say what type of uh, thing it is. Well, it's a, it's a business. It's a it's a fish and chip shop. So we click business. Now you see that the the save button has uh, become enabled. Now we can put additional information on it if we want, uh, or we can go advance and we accept. We'll go into that in a moment. Let's just say for now save. And that information is now in. Uh, we've already got that one. We've put the thing in twice, so we'll throw that away. Uh, we've got one more address. Um, it looks like it's the same. Uh, there are no addresses now, so we only had that one address to, uh, to enter in. Now, that will have gone directly onto the main uh, dispatch machine, and um, uh, it'll be available uh, for taking bookings. Right, let's, uh, there are no more addresses, so there's not much more to see there. The Add New button is when we want to add an uh, address um, rather than the operators typing it in. So it's a very similar process. Let's, um, I don't know, let's put Fred's Fish and Chips. Right, um, where's that? Uh, we can say it's Smith Street. We'll just make these up. And what area it's in, uh, it can be in, I don't know, Woolerton, um, or Woolton. don't know where that is, but there we go. Um, and again, it's a case of tell it where it is, just, you can use the, you do use the mouse on, uh, on the software here, so we can say, right, uh, Fred's Fish and Chip Shop, it's just there on the corner. And again, we click Commercial and Business, we've got all the information save. We've now got um, a record called Fred's Fish and Chips. Really is as simple as that. Um, let's come out of that. Find an existing one. Well, we can check for Don's. You can see we've got Don's Fish and Chip Bar in there. That's all. It's all in. We can, we can find any address that we want. And um, if we need to edit, uh, if that address isn't right, we can click on it and choose to edit. And we've got Don's Florist, and we can say it's not actually there, it's uh, just there. It's a little bit further over, um, and we can save. And that's, um, that's, that's modified that address. Quite straightforward. Come out. Zones. 
uh, you're not going to be using this a great deal, but um, uh, there are times when we need to just uh, modify. If you've had your mapping changed, sometimes we need to click on the zones. Now, if we go on here, um, uh, we'll just take um, the, the first area here. Uh, th this area is called the Bluebell area uh, of Liverpool, and here's all the addresses that are in the Bluebell area. Now, uh, when we when we do the original mapping, um, we can get the thing about 95% right. But if the border, let's say this uh, this main road is the border, sometimes you you find that roads very close to the border, like Glade Road here, may end up in the the wrong zone. So, you, with this, you can look at the uh, the Bluebell area and you can scan down and just make sure all these roads are where you expect them. If they're not, simply click on them and edit the uh, the name and change the uh, the area that the the address is in. Um, we we added a little facility on here. I did this for myself actually, for my own benefit, but uh, some people find it quite useful. If we click Show All, it it puts a dot on all the addresses in the area and you can see where the uh, where the addresses are lying there so we can say yeah I mean that look all looks okay if we change uh, we'll change the area and we'll say short sometimes you can look and say yeah these don't look right one or two doesn't doesn't look right you should all the all the yellow dots should be in the area that you're dealing with um, it's quite helpful that um, when we're done, we um, uh, clicking the update button just updates all the other machines with the information. Fairly straightforward. Uh, this is so important that you use this and keep your address up, uh, database up to date. Um, you really should do this. If you're a new company, do this once a day at least, if not more. Um, with time, you find that when you do the check new, you, you end up just discarding addresses because in the main, they're spelling mistakes. So just uh, just throw them away. But uh, do keep a, uh, keep an eye on the, the, uh, the map edits and make sure your database is up to date. Okay, cheers.